This is Cuddlesnut, and here is episode 3 of the 100 Minute Walkthrough, and we're about to fight Straga. So, here we go. Last time we got open air parking, and I'll let you watch this. Turn up the volume. Turn down the volume there. See if we can know. All right. I did like uh, Abaddon's Sephirothi sword there, but uh, just an observation. Do a quick dash to avoid these. Then you want to grab and throw. Throw like to your dad's, you know, catching glove or whatever you guys did as a kid. I right, get two hits and he comes on down. And uh, you can jump to avoid that little shock wave, but I didn't because I forgot about it. Get a good couple of hits on him. And here he lifts the street. Damn. Wish I could do that. You can jump to avoid that too, but I was making the comment I completely forgot again. But here she, he should throw some more cars. Oh no, he uh, does his little fireball thing. You just do a quick dodge to dodge that when he hits the ground with his fist. Alright, let's grab these cars and throw them. Ouch. Ah, uh, keep forgetting. Alright. Won't forget next time. A couple more hits on his head. You know, let's do that one more time. After this. After that. Grabs the street again. I didn't even mean to jump there, but I did because I'm so, so worried about it. Alright, here we go. There we go, get a double jump to avoid that. He yells at me again. Yeah, I'd be pissed off if I threw a car at some car hitting me in the face too. Car number one. Car number two. Boom. And I forgot again. At least I got the other one. Alright. There we go. So have you 
going up and down with the volume there. Um, anyway. Yeah, we've got the Watcher now. The magical fairy. Oh, I mean the the, the sprite. Yeah, lo lots of Zelda references here. It thirsts. It's got a mind of its own. Anyway. Yeah, probably making lots of Zelda references because, one, I love those games, and two, this is obviously a Zelda homage without a doubt. Without a doubt. As we will find as we continue to play Darksiders. And now we have got Chaos Eater, the big ass sword. Another Final Fantasy influence there, too. Blade Geyser. Uh, yeah. Next episode, I think we'll be getting the uh, Blade Geyser achievement, so stay in tune for that. And here we get a nice little chunk of change.
Currency, health, and wrath. Health and wrath automatically restore your health and wrath. You don't store them up like you do currency. Um, I think this makes sense, but you know, some of the games like Fable or whatever, different things do different stuff, so. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? 